standing in the gardens at Yaddo. Yaddo is a artist colony, an artist retreat in upstate New York, a little bit north of Albany. Founded in the early 20th century, and some of the leading figures in, in painting and writing and music were here. Aaron Copeland, Leonard Bernstein, Catherine Ann Porter. But also to Yaddo came for a short time the young Flannery O'Connor. And uh, she was working on her first novel while she was here. And it triggered for me a memory of uh, a famous encounter she had when she was a young woman. She was um, a promising writer, but by no means famous at that point. And a much more prominent writer called Mary McCarthy and her husband invited her to dinner in New York. So she came and she said she was overwhelmed by shyness and um, said very little. And finally, toward the end of the dinner, uh, Mary McCarthy, trying to draw her out and knowing that she was Catholic, said that, you know, though she, McCarthy, considered herself an ex-Catholic, she still thought the Eucharist was a very powerful symbol. And Flannery O'Connor responded in a shaky voice, well, if it's a symbol, I say to hell with it. <laughs> and I've always thought that nowhere in the literature of theology are you going to find a more eloquent defense of what the church means by the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. In other words, Flannery O'Connor had no time for the sort of patronizing, condescending account of Mary McCarthy. Oh, what a nice symbol. And mind you, Flannery O'Connor was one of the great symbolic masters of the 20th century. She was an artist at the highest level, knew how to manipulate, create symbols, and how to make them um, uh, speak powerful truths. So she wasn't someone unaware of symbolism, just the contrary. And yet she knew what's at stake in the Eucharist is something qualitatively different. Now, how would you put your finger on it? I think something like this, that a symbol, no matter how powerful, is something that we can create and manipulate. You know, if I'm a writer like Flannery O'Connor or like Herman Melville, I can create symbols in my writing. Uh, if I'm a member of the Abe Lincoln Society, I can bring in a a stovepipe hat and say, look, there's a symbol of Abraham Lincoln. We all know what that means. It means some physical object or some image that calls to mind another reality. Okay, we can do that. I mean, clever human beings can create symbols. And, and yes, they are powerful. However, a sacrament is not a symbol simply in that reductive sense. A sacrament is the breakthrough of grace. It's God breaking into our experience. And the Eucharist, which is the sacrament par excellence, is not just containing, as Thomas Aquinas put it, the power of Christ. All the sacraments have that, what he called the virtus Christi, the power of Christ. The Eucharist, Aquinas said, is ipse Christus, is Christ himself. Now, Flannery O'Connor, who knew Aquinas very well, had taken this idea in. And that's why she reacted so um, violently to the suggestion that the Eucharist is best construed as a symbol. Okay, now here's the last connection I wanna make. What have we seen from the time of Flannery O'Connor to our time, so the past, let's say, 60 years? You've seen a dramatic decline in Catholics' participation in the Mass. Now, it's a complicated thing. I get it. There's a lot of causes for that, and we can't go into all of them. But can I suggest at least one of the causes is confusion precisely on this point. There were a lot of theologians, and trust me, I, I read them when I was coming of age, who made the suggestion that Mary McCarthy made to Flannery O'Connor. What a wonderful symbol the Eucharist is. Well, if it's only a symbol, heck, I can find symbols all over the place. And, and that's a good one, and so is that, and that's interesting, and boy, that's a good spiritual path too. Well, why not? Why would the Eucharist be of such central importance? But if it's more than a symbol, if the Eucharist is Christ really, truly, substantially, and personally present, I don't know about you, that's where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I can find all kinds of other spiritual things interesting, intriguing, symbolically, powerful, terrific. But if Christ is really, truly, and substantially present in the Eucharist, that's where I want to be. And that's what's behind the church's insistence that Catholics attend Mass on a regular basis. Because we're dealing with something qualitatively different than anything that we can concoct on our own. And so I wonder if we can look back at that interesting little conversation between a you know, little-known um, budding author and, and her better known contemporary. That was a bit of a, of a prophetic utterance. 
Yeah, if it's a symbol, to hell with it. Because that makes all the difference, that the Eucharist is qualitatively different. God bless you.